the first thing that we're going to do is make it so that both input systems are working. And that will let us write code that uses the old input system or the new input system. So make sure you're working in a project that is using Unity 2020. And then go to the Edit menu. Scroll down in the Edit menu until you see Project Settings. Click on Project Settings, and it's going to bring up your Project Settings window. Then on the list, in the list on the left, choose player from that list, and it's going to show us the project settings for the player. It'll probably look like this. So you need to expand this final option, which is other settings. So click once on that, and it should expand those settings. And scroll down. It's going to be pretty far down in um, configuration. The last item in the configuration area is active input handling. And it's probably going to say input system package. It might say input manager. You want to choose both because you want to be able to use both of these input um, styles for your project. If you are developing something professionally, then you may want to choose one or the other because that would be more efficient. But I think because we're a class and we're learning stuff, having both as an option is a good idea, even though it may be a little bit less efficient when your game runs. So once you click both, uh, it may ask you to restart your editor, which is fine. And then you should be able to use old style code and new style code. Um, just so you can see what I'm talking about, I think I still have this open. So this is an example of the old style code, input.get mouse button down. So that's an old kind of input code. The new input code is a little bit more complex, and we can talk about it if you want to, is here. And the idea is that it makes, the, it makes your game a little bit more flexible for people who are playing your game on different platforms, but it's also a little bit more complex. So you can use code for either system by changing that menu setting that we just changed, or that project setting that we just changed. Um, if you make a new project, then you may need to change that setting again because the setting that we just changed is just for this project. Mission bit two in my case, I'm not sure what your project is called, but it's whatever you called your project originally.